Hi there everyone, my name's Jane and you found me here at Loopy Mabel's Closet, my little corner in the world where I share all my dressmaking projects, all the fashion styles that I'm interested in and lots of fabric obviously. And today's vlog is all about what I'm wearing. It's the Adrienne blouse by the Friday Pattern Company. <music> Welcome back and before I continue if you've just found my little channel and you like to follow along with all my dressmaking sewing and projects and general sewing chit chat then please hit that subscribe button and the little bell the usual spiel and then you will never miss out on any of the vlogs that I bring out and Mabel beside me is kindly wearing one of my latest makes, one of my favourite patterns. This is the second one I made, the Florence Top by Merchant and Mills in this beautiful ditzy uh, viscose fabric that I got. And it's just the most swishiest, feminine, prettiest top. And I really do love it. And I'm going to be making lots more of these tops. And I'll pop the link for the pattern in the box below. Everything I mentioned in this vlog I will pop links for in the description box below so please feel free to have a look at those later on and I'll also pop the card up for the vlog where I give you a little bit more information on this one. So going back to what I'm wearing the Adrian blouse. So today's vlog is in conjunction with the Sew Top Challenge that is being run by Claire from Penguin and Pear and I entered it last year it's just a little sewing challenge not really a challenge it's just sew top and share it with the world so it's kind of a 31 day video hop between 31 dressmaking youtubers and my day is today and obviously we're following one another throughout the 31 days so yesterday's vlog was rocks and stitches and tomorrow's vlog following me today is crystal sew and stuff but i'll pop the link for all the youtubers that are involved in this challenge in the box below and then obviously you can follow along and see what tops they've all made so it's a good it's a good challenge bit of fun so i thought while well, i'm making the adrian blouse so i would enter this as my sew top challenge now if you follow me you probably do know that i do like a friday pattern company pattern i think i've got most of those patterns i recently made the raglan blouse which uh popped the card for that up there as well which is another pretty blouse that's in the woven fabric i had a bit of an issue it was a bit too wide on the shoulders for me and i took the the sleeve section in I gathered the sleeve section in just to bring the neckline in it's all obviously all the details are in that vlog but when I was making this one which this one is designed for jersey stretch fabric I just thought how similar is this in a way to the raglan one that I made in the woven because in in that one I had to gather the sleeves in whereas this one is already gathered in so really it's very very similar pattern and I have to say this is one of the easiest long sleeve type of t-shirt pattern that I've made literally I will show you the pattern pieces it's literally two pieces well three pieces including the this um, little neck band area and literally I had it made in 45 minutes it was absolutely brilliant so so nothing technical at all so if you're new to sewing with jersey and you fancy making yourself a pretty jersey t-shirt type of top that's got a little bit more wow to it then this is definitely the pattern to go for i'll show you the pattern pieces so i'll show you the pattern pieces as i said there's two two main pieces and then the neck band so there's your neck band so i'll show you the line drawing just to give you an idea and obviously i'm going to put, pop some pictures up of me wearing it in the garden and i'll stand up and show you in a minute but there is the lined drawing so it's the front and the back are exactly the same so there's no difference and the sleeves are one it's just like one sleeve so there's no front and back of the sleeve obviously because you can wear the top either way and that is it the front which is the same as the back and then the sleeve and then you've got your neck band i did size large now it's quite um a fitted top across the bust area so i wanted it to i didn't want it to be to be loose or too slack or anything like that but obviously not overly tight so I went off my, my measurements. Now I'm, I'm a 38 bust. And 
so 38 bust it comes under large bust 38 to 39 and the finished measurement is 32.5 so there's quite a bit of negative ease and I went for that and it fits perfectly so you've got to consider how much negative ease you want across the bust area and as I say I'm five foot five and a B cup so it fits me brilliant I'll, I'll stand up and show you a little bit close up just to show you just got it on with my jeans and it's a nice length I've just left the pattern as it was for the length so it's quite a nice length so it's plenty where's my waist there so there's quite a bit to tuck in if you like to tuck your tops in or there's quite a bit uh, there's quite a bit there if you like to wear your top out and you've got these gorgeous billowy sleeves but you can make the sleeves less billowier there's instructions in the pattern and as you can see it just fits quite nice across the bus it's not overly tight and obviously you've got the type of scoop neck at the front and again at the back so it's exactly the same the front and the back and I use this beautiful gorgeous paisley print that I got from Felicity Fabrics and I had I think it was one and a half meters and I got this out with very little spare so it's perfect if you've got some jersey fabric hanging around one and a half meters worth you can get this out easy so I'll show you the pieces so this it's the front and the back so you cut them both out on the fold so that's it front and back exactly the same and then you've got the sleeve so again you cut both of them out on the fold which gives you those lovely big billowy sleeves and it's just one that's it one pattern for the sleeve cut on the fold and then you've got that neckband which I neckline ribbon which you cut two of so you've got one for the front and then exactly the same for the back and that's it it's so simple and all you need is I think it's half an inch elastic for your sleeve cuffs and to go in a little channel that you create along the shoulder for both sides stitch the elastic in done it really is a simple and easy and quick sewing project and this is going to end up being another well-worn piece in my wardrobe just like my mandy boat tee that i made part of my free long sleeve tee episode i have worn that so many times it's just a great piece to pop on and this is going to be another one I think so I've already got some fabric mapped out to make a few more of these because they're just absolutely brilliant to throw on go great with your jeans they go lovely under some dungarees or a pinafore even so it's just one of those pieces that something a little bit different to just a plain uh, long sleeve tee or a plain t-shirt it's just got a little bit more of a wow factor I think and as I say it's very very similar to the woven raglan blouse pattern very very similar but as with all friday pattern company patterns again the instructions are always very straightforward there's nothing too technical i've never come across one of their patterns where i've struggled with and obviously this is the pdf pattern and information on how you lay your pattern out so as i said just you just need to cut it on the fold and i got mine out with one and a half meters and there's a little stretch guide as well which is very useful so you can see how much stretch you've got in your jersey use that guide and i cut out the elastics uh, as per the instructions and if you find the shoulders are a little bit loose you just uh, shorten the elastic before you stitch them up completely you just obviously try it on and then if you're happy with that then you stitch the elastic in but if you you, what you do is in the pattern is you just tack the elastic in try it on see if the elastic's the right length and then if it's not adjusted then then stitch it in properly but that's all you need to do and the same for the sleeves and there's instructions like i said you can make the sleeves less billowy is that the right word did you want the silhouette of the sleeve just to be a little bit slimmer then you can adjust the pattern I'll show you so there is a sleeve pattern so you can lengthen or shorten the sleeve so you can make them longer or shorter if you want the sleeves to because mine come just say three quarters which is a really nice length doesn't get in the way but you could make them longer or you could make them shorter which might be quite nice above the elbow might be quite nice and then you've also got a line here 
which you you can reduce or increase the fullness by lengthening or shortening the edge. So just to, as you would if you were lengthening and shortening the sleeve this way, you can also reduce the amount of fabric or create more fabric that way for the sleeve. So good option too. So you've got a few options if you want to play about with the sleeves. But how pretty is it? How It's just got that little bit extra wow factor. I just think the neckline's nice. It's not too low for me because I'm not a great lover of really low necklines. It's just nice height for me on my neckline. And obviously it's the same on the back. So I've stitched um, a label in the back so I know which is my front, which is the back. Because obviously they're both the same. And I just think you've got quite a few options. You could probably look totally different in a plain jersey. Maybe nice in a polka dot or a stripe. And as I say, you could play about with the sleeves it might look nice with nice little puffy shorter sleeves as a good option and I never thought of that when I was cutting this out I just went straight to do the the pattern as is I like to do that when I'm first starting off on a new pattern I just like to follow it as it's set just to get a flavor see how difficult or technical technical it is and then once I've made it the first time around and feel comfortable with it and I like it it's something I'm going to wear obviously then the next time I make it, that's when I start to get a little bit more confident, a little bit more creative in maybe pattern hacking or just lengthening and shortening and things like that. But yeah, I mean, great, a great pattern. And I'll pop a picture up also of the model wearing it on the pattern so you can see. And you can see the model is wearing obviously the Adrian blouse and then she's also wearing the trousers that I made as well as part of my Saw the Look. I think it was number two, I think it was absolutely brilliant trouser pattern proper secret pajama trousers they are so i could create myself a nice little outfit now using both the trousers and the top but yeah if you've never heard of the friday pattern company then it is a really good um they do have a really good selection of patterns i think i've tried them all the only one that i wasn't all that keen on was the wilder gown i've made plenty of the blouse version but the wilder gown just didn't suit me at all it was just uh it just swamped me I looked a bit like I was wearing a tent so that's the only one I probably wouldn't make again but as I say you've got to try these things out or you don't know do you and I think also the fabric does make a difference doesn't it because this fabric is absolutely gorgeous this as I say is from Felicity Fabrics it's Paisley and I know they've sold a heck of a lot of this because it's just so pretty and it's got all the colours in it I like a pattern I like a fabric that's incorporates colours I think that's why I tend to go for florals because then you can use all those colours and mix and match them and bring them into your wardrobe and you know play about and this has got loads of colours this has got the cerise pink which will go absolutely perfectly with my new cerise pink corduroys that I made I'll pop the link for my saw the look number five where I made those corduroys bright pink and this top will go perfectly with that and it's also got like a tealy blue obviously it's antique white off-white background it's got a lovely ochre mustard in there it's got navy blue so it's got quite a good selection of colors that I can you know mix and match so I hope I've inspired you to maybe get your jersey stretch fabrics out and have a go at making the Adrienne blouse. I absolutely love it. As I say, it's going to be a well-worn piece and it's definitely going to get rotated loads and loads in my wardrobe. And I think I can get away with wearing it in the autumn and winter months too when it's a little bit cooler, maybe with a long sleeve turtleneck underneath. I'm not sure what that would look like, but I'll definitely give that a try. And then obviously I can wear it all the time then. But yeah, really like it. I like the ruched shoulders. I like the billowy sleeves. And obviously the fabric is really pretty too. So that does make a difference, doesn't it? So this is my entry for the Sew Top Challenge. I hope you like it. And I hope I've inspired you to maybe have a look at this pattern and have a go at creating it for yourself. A super easy sew. One and a half meters of jersey fabric and some half an inch wide elastic. Literally front is the same as the back and the sleeve and that's it two neckbands really easy and i'll pop obviously the link for the pattern in the box below too as i said previously and i'm still making a list for my q a vlog that i've got planned so if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask me anything in relation to my dressmaking or anything in general 
pop the question in the box below or you can ask me the question over on my Instagram account and I'll put them all together when I've got enough questions and I shall do a Q&A vlog. So that's it for today's vlog. I hope I've inspired you to maybe have a go at making it for yourself. If you did like today's vlog, don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button too and then you can follow along with all my sewing projects. And I've got lots more sewing coming your way. I've got some gorgeous jeans that I've just made. I'll show you all about them. And as usual, lots more patterns and sewing reviews and what have you. But until the next time, thanks for joining me today. Hope you like my top. And I shall see you, I'll see you on my next sewing vlog. Bye for now.